Okay, let's go again. So, Chessman, thirteen thirty-seven. Hmm. Okay, should we free her? Avoid playing e5 as an experiment. Playing e5 there though. Okay, so. What about queen d2? Is that any good? And then h3 is threatened. Okay, he's slightly weakening himself with. He's going to play g5. the c5 square if I do this kind of knight maneuver to c5 so knight b3 to c5 or okay knight d3 would stop a4 immediately anyway C1 in order to try and play um, C4 or something, or C3. Um, that's getting tricky. What about Bishop E3 here? Bishop E3. Oh, I'll give it a shot. Okay. Try and maybe play for C4 or something. C3. Knight F4. C4 here. And he's going to play a3, and this diagonal is going to be quite nasty potentially. C5 later. And then queen c3 here. Knight C5 level. Um, I don't know really. Takes hmm. takes. Knight d4 possible after that, knight d4 is bishop e5. Uh, what about bishop f4? What about bishop d3 to take, just take that guy off? That knight off, bishop d3. Hmm, bishop d3 here. Yeah. If knight b5 maybe might be Maybe just taking that off. If A3, I think B3. Uh, although that is that diagonal might be more interesting for black. Okay. B3 here, or taking, and I get rook B1, that's interesting. If I 
could take for rook b1. You can't castle that easy because of the bishop. Alright, so if I take here on b5, put rook b1. I feel a bit naughty, like Petrosian or something, hijacking his uh, line openings, but it's kings in the centre of his rook, and bishop not doing that much, this one not doing much. This knight on c5, mm, yeah, it looks tasty now. If I just take his queen and rook b7, bishop c8 and rook c7, it looks as though that could be trouble. Also, I can just play a4 first. Just to keep the um, past pawn. If I play a4, then maybe actually rook b4, rook b1. Okay, I think rook b4 here. Just protect the a pawn and win his uh, c pawn. The knight versus bishop should be okay. It's a bit sort of. Tyrannistic, I suppose. But if bishop c8, knight d4, I think this knight on d4 is going to be beautiful. A sight to behold. There's f6, there's knight c6 immediately threatened. Okay. So, uh, right, if I move the king, and if bishop a6, uh, rook c3. Okay. Oh, did I just do that inaccurately? G2 and... Uh, there's the check. I think I'll play the check here. Okay, so rook f7. I'm hitting the bishop. Mm. Is that sound? That, yeah, probably. So a3 here. Just keep the bishop attacked. The knight's still pretty nice on d4. Uh, so he plays bishop g2, um, or not, as the case may be. Now I'm threatening rook f8 as well to win the rook. If he takes here, he's got two pieces on pre. It's been naughty this game, a bit Petrosian-ish. I've got rook takes f1 here. The style is a bit naughty, I think. But uh, he came for me on the queen side, and c5 is, is vulnerable. It's like I simulated the previous game, the fm was white. And, um, oh, he wants to have a look at something. Okay. Yeah, that's that's more accurate. <laughs> yep, yep. I'm, I'm not really paying attention tactically at the moment. Um, so all this stuff, A3 and um, you know, maybe C5 later for this bishop. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, it just seems c5 is getting more important now. c5 definitely got more importance. b5. Yeah, it's starting to look bad news for him. It's blunder. Okay, so I ignore that one. Still, it's a good position, and... Um, Difficult for black. Alright, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks so much.